And these are your top headlines from Cheddar News. The CEO of Hershey says Thursday that the company will not be able to make enough Halloween candy this year. The iconic candy maker says a lack of suppliers and ingredients is interfering with production. Still, though, Hershey says 2022 sales will top last year's figures. Meanwhile, at least eight people have been killed in Kentucky's flash floods. More than 22,000 people lost power and are struggling to find clean drinking water. The governor says that this could be one of the worst disasters in the state's history. Cleanup crews are working to clear debris and locate stranded residents. And Facebook parent company Meta reported their first ever quarterly loss Wednesday, blaming the decline on a decreasing value of the euro. Meta also says they'll no longer pay publishers for their content to run on Facebook's news tab. That according to Axios, a spokesperson telling the outlet, quote, most people don't come to Facebook for news. And as a business, it doesn't make sense. And that's your Cheddar News Update. I'm Baker Machado coming to you from Cheddar Studios in Lower Manhattan. Well, are you really surprised with this forecast as we head into August? No. Temperatures are going to be near 100 or slightly above every single day over the next several days. Here's the thing, though. This afternoon, uh, between about 3 p.m. and 8 p.m., an isolated shower storm, isolated being the key word there, uh, will be around. So make sure to have that case up weather authority app handy if you're planning on being out and about this afternoon, maybe picking up the kids from daycare or just heading out and about. Keep that weather app handy because we'll keep you updated. Same old, same old in the weather, but it sounds like SA Live is going to be very yeah, dramatic uh, today. Some exciting stuff going on over there. Maybe I've, some I'm bad I'm very blood. intrigued. What's going to happen <laughs> stay, next? Stay tuned to find out what happens. <laughs> SA Live starts right now. That's very intriguing, Ursula. Then on SA Live, you won't believe a big impact one design can make on a small room. We have the transformation. Plus, it's summer and cocktails. Oh, just can't be good. They need to be fun. How to take your drinks to the next level. And comedian Darren Carter, who is in town this weekend, he is going to be with us live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Oh, what? Are those winners, John? Or did you just buy them? He's very excited. You're going to share if you win, right? He's shaking his head no. Happy Friday, everybody. It's going to be, could be a very happy Saturday or Friday night for some folks if they win that Mega Millions lottery. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Oster. H. Fiona is off today. Maybe she, no, she didn't win the lottery. It hasn't been drawn yet. But big question is, if you won Mega Millions, which is over $1 billion, what would you do? First thing you would buy. We've got a couple of comments that people have written in on a new identity. <laughs> yeah, what was it I heard this morning? It's like, forget social media, just get off that. At least name change and new number. Plane ticket to Switzerland, very good idea, J.E. And a home on the lake, oh yes. That would be, you, you know, the thing is though, you could buy anything you wanted to, including tickets to a comedy show. We're gonna talk more about that, but you may have uh, seen our first guest on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno in the past or sharing the big screen with actors like John Travolta. You were in luck this weekend. He's gonna be here in the Alamo City, laughing out loud at the Upstage Comedy Lounge. Darren Carter is here. First thing you would buy if you won the lottery, sir. More sunscreen. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> yeah. Hey everybody, it's great to be back in San Antonio. I'm Darren Carter, the party starter. And tonight and Saturday, we're gonna start that party. <laughs> All the sexy ladies, let me hear you say it. Go ahead. Come, Come on, you. buddy, let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did you become the party starter? You know what, I think... Uh, Besides carrying your flashlight. Yeah, one day I had a flashlight, you know, my, my grandfather, he was a party starter, he used a candle, wasn't as effective, but... Uh, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> and to be honest, it just rhymes. Darren Carter, party starter, you know, I'm thank, thank goodness my last name isn't, you know, Darren Tanner, the event planner, so... <laughs> but I'm a comedian, I love being here. My first television appearance was in San Antonio. This is interesting, mm -hmm. yeah. I, uh, I grew up in Fresno, California. I was performing at the Comedy Store in Hollywood, and the producer of the show saw me, and he said, hey, I'm producing a show called Showtime's Latino Laugh Festival. And I said, really, me? And he said, yeah. He goes, I like the part where you talked about growing up in Fresno. So I'll just show you a little bit. Back then, I had all this hair, right? And, uh, and it was bright red. And I'd walk to school, and nobody called me Darren Carter, the party starter. They called me Rooster. Like, I'd walk to school, and from behind me, I'd hear, <laughs> Odele, what's up, fireball? Ah! <laughs> it's the red-headed rooster. What's up, guy? Oh, ah, ah. 
And Mike, I was like, why do they call me Rooster? And now I look back at those pictures, the bouncy red hair, the heavy backpack. This is what I look like. <laughs> I, I used to work at Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'd be on my break, you know, check out Rooster, he's getting down on the corn on the cob like it's Thanksgiving. I'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's great, it's great to be, yeah. So now my, my hair's gone, but the jokes are still here. That's right. Yeah. And you're more into the, the storytelling type jokes. I love like, telling Based on like personal, well, like that personal right, experience? Right, like, like the beginning of my career was a lot of, you know, my, my life growing up. And now, you know, I'm a, I'm a dad, I'm a proud parent. My son's 14, I'm a, I've been married for 24 years. My son, his voice is, he's 14, he's, uh, his name is Austin Carter, the little party starter, although now he's getting big. And uh, he's, a, he's a musician on YouTube. He goes by Oz, the bass boss. And it's because his voice is deep and he plays bass. And when he was really little, I'd be like, Daddy's home. And now his voice is deeper than mine. I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like, Daddy's home. And then from the back of the house, you hear, nobody cares. <laughs> and that's my wife. Hey, I'm <laughs> 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 okay, quiz questions about San Antonio, yes. and we, we like to ask this about everybody, big celebrities that come on here. Yeah. Okay, corn or flour tortillas? Uh, I prefer corn tortillas because I want to say that it's a little bit healthy. I don't know if it is or not, but that's what I think. Uh, favorite junk food? Favorite junk food. I got to say, I, I love Mexican food, and I love eating late at night, and I don't know if that's... You know, because during the day I can I can be okay with my salads and my fruit and everything, but the sun goes down, nightfall comes, and I'm just like in the car to drive through, just like eating with the dome light. You ever do that? You're just like, <laughs> I mean, I get into it. I'm like, <laughs> and uh, they look at me weird in the parking lot, but yeah. As my wife calls it, parking lot picnics. There. It's you great. just go through the drive through and then park and eat. Oh, like I that. love yeah. that. And sometimes I'll, I'll be like, you know, I'll say like, okay, if there's more than five cars in line, I'll just go home. And then you open your eyes and you're like, wow, there are no cars. It's a sign, you know, so. Dogs or cats? Dogs or cats? I like dogs because, uh, you know, one of my favorite rappers, bow, wow, Snoop Dogg. Ooh, wee, it's the Diggo Double G, the big Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Okay. If you weren't a comedian, yes. what would you be doing? I would be a cat wrangler. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to think of something about cats next. Because, you know, uh, we have a farm out in Fre near California, in, or near Fresno in California, and we, we gave all of our cats country names, like Meow Haggard and Kitty Chesney, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I don't know what I would be doing. If I wasn't a comedian, I don't know. So you were, you were on the Tiny Show with Jay Leno. Yes. First of all, what's he like? Jay Leno's the nicest guy. And Jay Leno, our next comedian coming to the city. He was, he was fantastic. Very, he was, Mike, you know how nice you are? He was just like you. Be quiet, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bailing me out You're on welcome. that one. Fist bump on that. You, yeah, right. And you said there was a comedy club that yeah. all the comedians would go to, and you and even he, and you'd have what, like four minutes to do a set. Oh yeah, it's, it? it's in it's in Hermosa Beach. It's famous. Uh, it's called the Comedy and Magic Club. And you know, Seinfeld pops in. George Wallace. You know, when he was alive, George Carlin. Um, Jay Leno's there every Sunday. So. You know, I was just there last week. I did, you know, two shows, and it's it's just a, you know, I love being a comedian, and to be able to come to San Antonio and do this new comedy club, we're we're very excited. That uh, I'm, I'm great to reconnect with fans that that I haven't I haven't been here in San Antonio for about three years. So, thank you for having me back. I'm excited. And you also have a podcast. Yeah, I have a podcast. 243 episodes. It's called Pocket Party, the Pocket Party Podcast. It's on Spotify, Apple, YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel, D A R R E N Carter, and we give great. You know, it's you can listen to it pretty much at work. It's clean, you know, and but funny. It's good. Yeah. Being an Elvis fan, that you yes. said, do you ever talk about him on your podcast? Yeah, you know, when the Elvis movie came out, um, you know, I, I, I love that movie. In fact, the first time I I, uh, I was I was in the wrong theater. I was watching the Minions, and I, <laughs> and I was like, wow, when's this trailer gonna end? But uh, <laughs> yeah, we, I've seen the movie. I've seen it. I've seen it once. My son has seen it twice, and it's I, I love the Elvis movie. I thought it was fantastic. Okay, quick trivia. Elvis's yeah. middle name. Aaron, Elvis Aaron Presley. Ah, his co-star in uh, Viva Las Vegas. I want to say Anne Margaret. Very good. Okay, what color was his hair? Before it was black, it was brown. He is an Elvis fan. I don't know. It's, I'm not, thank you, those were easy questions. I, I thought you were gonna go deeper than that, but that was great, thank you. Favorite Elvis song? 
Uh, I would say, um, well, it used to be like, well, I like Love Me Tender. I like, uh, um, well, there's one for the money. I like all that stuff. I like, uh, yeah. let's just pretend. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm the Elvis of comedy. <laughs> Comedian Darren Carter is going to be performing at the Upstage Comedy Lounge tonight and tomorrow, 8 p.m. You can buy tickets online. <laughs> and for a link, he's, he's doing the color pop and all that stuff. Oh, this you can is buy good. tickets this online. For a link, go to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Darren, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate thank you. It. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, and right. welcome back to San Antonio. All right. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, weekend might be a good time for catching up or, you know, refreshing any part of your home, perhaps. And today, our Gentile Bias Trusky shows us tiny restroom makeover, proving that even the smallest space can be per be performed and transformed. You perform the transformation, I guess, <laughs> into a happy space. I'll get this right. The tiniest restroom deserves a nice makeover. It can be done, and today Magdalene de Mendez, with experimenting with decor, is making the transformation for less than a hundred dollars. The reasons I think that the restroom is very important to decorate or even to look pretty is because usually when guests come over, they usually won't ask to see your bedroom or your kitchen or any other room, but they probably will ask to use your restroom. So this is the part where you come in and you can show how beautiful and how beautifully decorated it is or even just give them the feel of them like a spa or serene place so, so we're going to start off with de we're going to put decals on the back wall just to bring kind of the the, the depth of the of the restroom forward and then we're going to put open shelving on just so that this client obviously needs storage so we're going to bring her some storage some storage baskets with some shelves and then make it pretty all right time to get started. The first step, adding the decals. Starting with some decals. These decals I found on Amazon, um, very inexpensive, and they're just literally stickers, huge stickers um, that we're going to layer on, on the back wall just to give it some depth and make it look nice and pretty. Here's a look at the before. Really a very tiny space. Time for Magdalena to add her special touch. wasn't specific she was just like what do you think we should do in here and I was like I gave her the idea usually with my clients I just like show them like what we can do and if they like it then that's what we do just put up stickers literally <laughs> the decals simple we were probably done in less than 15 20 minutes um, got all of them up and now it looks pretty even just like that if you were just to leave it like that and you didn't need storage that would be perfect um, for this particular client she needs storage in here so we're putting up two shelves and uh, these were all DIY and all I did was buy brackets I uh, got a piece of wood cut it stained it and we're gonna put it up. After putting up the shelving and everything, we put um, storage containers, like baskets and stuff like that, where they could hide their toilet paper, their air fresheners, all that stuff. It's still contained, but it still looks pretty and nice and makes a big difference. What was the most challenging part? Well, putting up the shelving, um, it's not that difficult, but you know, getting it leveled and stuff like that. That decals that we put up makes a big difference. It makes it come alive and make it look so pretty in here and even if it's just just a toilet room it actually makes it look so much nicer and, um, I am an interior decorator from San Antonio Texas so if any if you ever want to reach out to me um, you can reach me out on all my social medias um, or experimenting with decor at gmail.com email me any details and I'll be ready and willing to help Wow, that's amazing. And by the way, uh, Magdalena Men uh, Mendez has over 97,000 followers on Tic Tac, and, Tic Tac, pardon me, and 50, <laughs> okay, Tic Tac, Tic Tacs, uh, 54,000 on Instagram. Be sure to follow her on social media pages for more inspiration and any budget. And go to Tic Tac and you can find all the goodies there. So still ahead of SA Live, happy hours, the best hour, of making fun, refreshing cocktails, all with a secret ingredient made right here in the Alamo City. But first, a Star Walker is born. We're learning how to wield the lightsaber from the local martial arts expert and how you can join other fun events like this one. That's next on SA Live.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you know, since the fall of the Jedi, it's really been tough to get a good lightsaber lesson anywhere in the galaxy, but not to fear. Here in town, a local martial arts school is hosting a special event to bring out your inner Jedi or Sith. And John and Thomas Brendel, instructors at Championship Martial Arts here and the owner, uh, tell us all about this big event going on. So lightsaber fighting and martial arts, how do they relate to get. So here it kind of works is that the principles that they have for using the light servers what they're actually showing on screen, a lot of that's rooted in traditional use of the Japanese katana. So a lot of the movements are very, very similar. Really? Okay. Show us a, a, a little bit what's going on here. So it's a couple of simple little moves? Yeah. 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 All right. So just starting off nice and basic, you know, got two hand grip. What you start off with is just going left side, right side, step to the side, high block, high block. You know, just simple stuff. Make sure you get out of the way. You know, don't get caught by the lightsaber. Kind of a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're plastic, though, so we don't yeah. have to worry about that. Training weapons. And then, <laughs> and then also with a partner you get teamed up with, and you can do some defensive moves with that. Right, right? So exactly. So, okay. you know, for example, you use those blocks up against like a Sir? direct down strike. Thank you. So I got someone coming in me trying to go straight down, step to the side, block, and I can counter with diagonal strike. You know. Fun stuff like that, and it can work both sides the same way. Same thing. I didn't know he was going to have the uh, the special effects going on there. So tell us about the Jedi Challenge event coming right. up. So what the Jedi Challenge is? It's an event. Kids love it. We have this pretty much every single year. Um, start them off. Get a little fun, little warm up. Try to make it Star Wars themed, of, of course. Then after that, they get their lightsabers. You know, plastic lightsabers just like this. Then give them some basic stuff. Start off probably like you know the high blocks like I just did. Give them a couple moves, like the diagonals, put them in some combos, put a bunch of stuff together. And when you get to about the last eh, half hour or so for the event, mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll kind of pair everybody off and then give them like 20 minutes to kind of brainstorm with each other. They think of some sort of skit where, you know, one person's a defender, one's the attacker. Basically reenact a scene from Star Wars. Exactly. Like okay, so, now somebody watching right now is going, oh, that looks like fun but it's not open to the public. However, you can become a student and get involved in this, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about your martial arts school and, and martial arts in general. So our uh, 3 3 Championship Martial Arts is a, tradition, a traditional Okinawan school. Uh, our uh, pr primary art is based in Okinawan Shorinru, and uh, we are a black belt school. We are a self-defense school. Uh, the objective of our students when they come in the door, if they want to go all the way through this thing, that they're going to be able to have the confidence and awareness and self-control that they can handle themselves you know, out in the streets. And uh, if need be, they can actually go, go ahead and defend themselves. So, can anybody do martial arts? Absolutely. You, you always think start. about the guys in the movies and Bruce Lee and all that. Right. No, you, don't have to, you don't have to be a natural Bruce Lee to do this thing. Uh, we can start as young as four years old or train you there. I've got students that start as adults. Um, I sometimes will have parents train with their kids, so any age group can come in there, any uh, physical condition we can go in there, we meet you where you're at and we bring you up to where you need to go. And, and just like other sports where you, know, you, you build confidence, um, you know, that methodical learning and everything like that, and especially with martial arts, correct? Yes, sir. Absolutely. It, it uh, very much works that way because as you start mastering some of the skills, you start gaining this confidence, you start gaining uh, the, the skill level you need there, and uh, it, it just keeps snowballing and builds upon itself and continues on from there. Okay. Other uh, events you got coming up here mm -hmm. after the, the Jedi Challenge? Yeah, we've got a couple events. Um, in, in August, we've got some board break seminars coming up. We've got one for our lower belts and some for our upper belts and our black belts. They have a blast with that because who doesn't love breaking stuff and getting away with it, right? Of course. Yeah. And then after that, um, we've got a Disney event, we've got a Harry Potter event, we've got, a, uh, I think, a camp or two coming up, we've right? We've got a uh, challenge camp, a, a special camp there for, mm -hmm. um, I believe it's the... It's the stunt camp is that we're doing? Yes, uh, I think it's, yeah. Something like so that. we got we got another special camp coming up in the future as well. And then on top of that, a couple of specials going on right now too, right? We absolutely mm -hmm. do have a great special going on right now. It's called our Back to School Fast Pass. Uh, you know, we'd bring you in for a little orientation, see if it's something you'd like to do. If you want to go ahead and pursue it from there, uh, it gives you 30 days to go ahead and try us out. It includes the uniform, only costs 99 dollars, so it's a very small investment that you can do. Just go and check out martial arts to see if it's going to be a good thing for you. And on top of that, good exercise too, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, gentlemen, thank you very much for more information. Go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. May the Force be with you. May the Force be with you. <laughs>
Still ahead on SA Live, get ready to get in shape. There's a workout studio in town and it can give you one heck of a workout where you can find it and why it might be the best thing for you. And next, looking for a new career and do you love helping, helping people get healthy? See who's hiring and who they're hoping will apply. It's straight ahead on SA Live. Cool. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, do you want to start a rewarding career that helps your community? Alamo Colleges and Metro Health are partnering together to offer a certification program for Texas State Certified Community Health Workers. Here to tell us more is Gabriel Aguilar, who is a manager with San Antonio Metropolitan Health District. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. Okay, so tell us about this certification program. So who can apply and what are the requirements? Yeah, so thanks for having me. It's a really, it's a great opportunity with this partnership with Alamo Colleges for us to let people know about how they can obtain a community health worker certification. Uh, it's a great uh, certification that somebody could use to get into an exciting new career or to build on skills that they already have. Eligibility wise, there's a pretty wide open window. As far as who's able to apply, most people 16 or older um, who, uh, whether or not they have a high school diploma, should be able to apply. Uh, there are two different tracks. There's an academic track where they can get that certification and then use those credits that they earn uh, to go on towards an Associates of Applied Science or some other type of degree. Um, but then there's also a continuing, edu continuing education track where they can gain those credits uh, towards the certification whether or not they have that high school diploma or the GED. Okay, so the education alone is fantastic and, and the career building with it. So what skills do you need as a community health worker? So a lot of those skills can be learned within the program. But the people who are most successful are people who are passionate about community change, about uh, connecting people to each other and connecting them to resources, um, people who are hardworking and self-motivated. Our community health workers are really the ones who are there at the beginning of the pandemic and even now out on the front lines bringing life-saving information to people. So somebody with that type of passion uh, on top of the skills they can learn in the program I can excel as a community health worker. Because Metro Health, I mean, a lot of people think it's, you know, for vaccinations and checking out restaurants, but I mean, there's a lot that goes on there in every aspect of the city, right? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, just the, the last few years have really shown a light on public health in general and on Metro Health and what we do. And so there's a lot of opportunities. We have 60 plus community health worker positions currently at Metro Health, and we continue to go in that and people continue to move uh, in and around the program, different programs as they're promoted. And so there's a, a lot of good opportunities as community health worker and in other job titles that are similar, where people are doing community outreach, education, health promotion, those types of things, working in fields of asthma, chronic disease prevention, um, getting people the necessary access to medical care, a lot of different opportunities. And the community health worker certification is a great entry point for somebody to get in and to grow within the department and, and to advance. Great stepping stone for the career within Metro Health. And yeah. like you said, I mean, the fields are just so numerous, you can take so many of them, right? Yeah, there's uh, definitely a lot of opportunity and um, we just encourage people uh, right now where we're at, there's just been, uh, like I said, so much of a light shown on public health that it's created opportunities that weren't there before. We have so much hiring going on uh, recently, and so there's a lot of opportunities to encourage people to get out there, get the certification, get the skills that they need, come apply, um, and, and find your place at Metro Health or, or somewhere else in a community organization as a community health worker. Got one quick tip for somebody that wants to uh, work at Metro Health? Yeah, just to really to get out there and, and apply. Like I said, there's that big opportunity that we haven't seen in a long time. As long as I've been in the department in 10 years, I haven't seen so many opportunities and feel free to highlight any kind of community experience, even if it's volunteer. A lot of people think, okay, okay. you know, if it's not a paying job, it's not a good experience, but we, we look at all those different experiences. All right, if you'd like to learn more about the certification program for community health workers, just call 210-207-4759 or visit the website alamo.edu slash nvc slash chw. Gabriel, thank you very much. Yeah. Nice chatting with you. Thank you. All right, still ahead on SA Live, there's always so much going on every weekend in the Alamo City. We check out some of the events that caught our eye, including, and next, it's beginning to look like a lot like cocktails. We're turning fruits into cups and soda into the secret ingredient behind these fun summer drinks. Happy hour is the best hour. Don't go anywhere. You're watching SA Live. 
Welcome back to SA Live. We'll cool off and support local. These refreshing summer drinks are all made with soda. It's made right here in the Alamo City. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh, Andy McBain, Mixing Maven with Southside Craft Soda is here to show us three great summer recipes starring their locally made soda. All right. Good to see you. Welcome. Yes, nice so, to see you guys. Okay, you what are we the, mixing first? I was going to say, you win the award for prettiest drinks right oh, now. Oh, thank so. you so much. Yes. It's my favorite thing Especially to do. Especially this right here. You like my little pig stand? Look at that. <laughs> okay, hold on. Can you all see that? There. I'm going to let it's it a, peek You said it's like a little pig Buddha? A little pig Buddha. <laughs> okay, I that mean, thing's just adorable. Stop it right now. Okay. Now what are we mixing first? All right. Well, the first Sorry. thing that we are going to make is our Agua de Serena, which is our mermaid water. We're going to use Texas rum, some blue curacao, lime Tell me juice. When? About two ounces. Measure with your heart, really, I love that for this phrase. one. There. <laughs> then okay. we're going to add a little coconut rum. Okay. Next is going to come blue curacao. You're going to give it like to a good count of three. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. That's a great three. And then a, just a shot of that fresh lime juice there. Okay. Pop the cap on, make sure you hold it. Look at how pretty this is. Give it a little <laughs> shake. The drinks, the shakers, everything. All right, it's gonna go straight into our receptacle. That works. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> so least, like a lot of tiki cocktails, hey, we're serving you fruit. You got wet during that first segment, and <laughs> here I go. At least the drink matches your blouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now yeah, I you can just go straight in. All of it. Okay. Uh, all of it, and then we're going to top it off. Whoop, we got a little more than Ooh. I expected. We're going to top it off with the Southside <laughs> Lemon Cito. And one of the best parts of a tiki cocktail is the inedible garnish. So you have a selection of straws, umbrellas, and there's even some fruit and things that you can stick right in there. And usually with cocktails, you don't use soda. You know, maybe right. soda, tonic water, something like that. But Absolutely. So what we're doing with Southside is, you know, soda should be for adults too. You shouldn't be stuck drinking the same everyday sodas that your kids are. So these are some great flavors. Those are your tentacles. Oh. There you go. It's our little sea monster coming up out of our drink there. Okay. I love that. So, all right. Mine is a... Yours is a virgin cocktail. Okay. We want you to embrace that um, that responsible consumption. So mm -hmm. we're going to do two ounces of our coconut cream, two ounces of fresh mango juice, a shot of this fresh lime. This is our lime in the coconut. And pop that lid on, shake it. The lime and the coconut. <laughs> make, sure the lid, make sure the lid's on good this yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. It's going to go straight into yours, which is that fresh coconut right there. I love okay. this. And how did you get the top off of that thing? A machete this morning at home. A uh, machete? A machete, yes. Which we don't advise for kids, <laughs> but... This is, yeah, it's a little less of a family project, that one. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh. Get a See? little bit back into that cup so you can add your... <laughs> It's not like soda. It's not just me. Soda, it's not just me. <laughs> Mesquite root beer. And, and I know that that sounds a little exciting, the mango with root beer, but it comes out beautifully. And usually you said root beer um, does not use. Uh, it, do we use mesquite? mesquite? It's, yeah, not really. I would never have put it together, but I really love the way this comes through because we use mesquite bean in our root beer. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's good. That plays together really nicely. You can get dangerous with those if you add a little the, rum. The kids would have drinking out of the pineapples. Absolutely. And, coconut, so. and you know what? These are inexpensive. We can save the fruit when we make the pineapple, and we can <laughs> save the coconut water when you do the coconut. And so it's, it's just all around a lot of fun. All right. So where can you find Southside sodas? Southside craft sodas are available at HEB. Southside and then we also have a lot of different uh, restaurants here in San Antonio that are serving as well. Okay. All right. More information. Go to our website. Oops, Next on SA Live, looking for a place where you can really work out. Well, there's a cycle studio, and you've got all sorts of different exercises and everything else going on, right? We sure do. And what are we doing with the rubber band? You gotta go faster, here, so. though. What are you doing? I'm really? thinking what you are you all extra, more extra. resistance, more resistance. Get up there. there. Let's go. go. Get I'm up. Mopers. I can't Come do on. Do I have to keep no doing excuses. This no excuses. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's your turn, Colleen, since I was on the bike before. <laughs> Welcome uh, back to SA Lab. Are you looking to add a little cardio to your life, strength yeah. training? How about both? Well, there is a place in town that has it Ooh. all. And joining me now is my lovely wife, Bonnie, <laughs> and of course, our good friend, Colleen Hill, both instructors at AMP. Right. AMP, new name in town, but Different, same gym, right? Yes, so we used to be Joyride Texas, now we're AMP Studios. The AMP stands for all my people, or all my peeps, as we like to say. <laughs> and what that means is that we have something for everybody. So 
You don't need to go do an hour of cardio and then run to the gym, do an hour of strength. We've got it all under one roof. It is efficient, it is effective. Cardio and strength training all in one class. Because you hear about cycle studios and you think that that's all they do is just cycling. Right, right. And maybe some of that, but you don't even have to do any cycling at your place. Uh, we do have one class that is completely off the bike. It's nothing but strength training. But the majority of our classes are kind of a hybrid model, right? So you're going to spend about 20, 25 minutes on the bike like Colleen's doing here. You're going to get your cardio going, get your heart rate up, rev up that metabolism. And then you're going to switch into strength training. We have a wide variety of equipment. We have kettlebells, medicine balls, dumbbells, or you can do something as simple as bands. Super effective, nice long lean muscles. These are awesome. Don't, never underestimate the power of the bands, right Colleen? They are the These, real deal. They are the real deal. They're going to get you all this, this the definition. You, this that gets you, gets you, you so much definition. So again, we're for all my people, right? So if you want to lift a little bit heavier, we've got your dumbbells and kettlebells. If you're a little intimidated by weights, you want to start with something a little more manageable, these bands are great. We always focus on functional movement, though. Whatever we're doing, we want to make sure that we're keeping our bodies strong and healthy in order to be able to get through all of the things that we do every day. And as people, as we all get a little bit older, uh, you so have important. to have that exercise. Absolutely. Not, if you have not, not only started to stay in shape, yeah. but for your bone strength too, right? Absolutely. If you have not started strength training yet, now is the time. Don't wait. Especially ladies, as we get older, you know, our hormone levels change, estrogen drops, bone density loss, muscle mass loss. You want to prevent those things, and strength training is the magic bullet for that. And again, it doesn't have to be big, huge, heavy weights. It can be bands, anything that keeps your muscles working and under tension. When you say, uh, now's the time to start, because a lot of times, again, uh, you see people at Cycle Studios mm -hmm. and the, on the ads, and these are, you know, they're just going nuts, and they might as well be in the Tour de France <laughs> and everything like that. But mm. you can sit in the back, like, like yeah. there you are, Colleen. Absolutely. But you can sit in the back if you want to, and just go on an easy little, you know, Exactly. You know, I can't stress this enough. Again, we changed the name because it is about all my people. It is about everyone, regardless of where you are in your fitness journey, there is a place for you at AMP. So whether that is you're just starting out and you want to sit in the back row and cycle and start to get used to the way that feels, if you need some modifications on the strength training, our instructors are experts at making sure that you're getting the best and most effective workout for where you are in your life. So about an hour, if you combine the, the bike and the workout. It's about 50 like minutes. I mean, it's about a 15 minute workout. That's like eating. You are in and out and on with your day and you're gonna continue to burn calories the rest of the day. You're gonna get that good afterburn from getting the heart rate up, then going into the strength training and you will continue to burn all day long. The results are amazing. You're gonna look amazing, but even more important, you're gonna feel amazing. Two studios in town where you look at studios in town. So we've got one on Broadway at the Mosaic Center. Our second one is at Elan in the Elan Town Center on Northwest Military. Okay, and you have a special for SA Live viewers right now, right? We sure do. You want to tell us what it is? Yep. One week, unlimited, $28. So you can go to all the different classes, try so, them all yeah, out, right? Yeah, this, this is for both studios. Mm -hmm. You can check out either studio. You can check out all the different formats, all the different instructors. You're going to find one that works for you. We're going to take care of you. And fun music, too because she puts together all of her <laughs> playlists and everything like that. You know, I really I, feel like I've it's time. Read, Step in. I've got to read Step this right in. now. Don't forget to email or call I friendly with my husband the, calling. the, the I got address him. <laughs> on your screen and mention you saw, whoop, I'm there gonna, we go. Oh. right now. All right, saw let's go. Amp Studios on SA Live. Squat, buddy, squat. And there he goes. Okay, Put those heels back. on the ground. Now I'm not getting back up. So <laughs> go he's falling and he can get up. Click on hashtag live tab or go to do that QR code thing right there. So, okay. Next on SA. <laughs> Thank you, dear. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you. Thank you, Colleen. Good seeing you. What are you going to do this weekend? If you're still looking for plans, we have found some fun events you won't want to miss. So stay with us. Ooh, come on, follow me. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, there's always so much going on every weekend in the Alamo City. And we want to make sure you make the most out of your summer. So here's a few of the fun events that you might want to check out. It is our What's Happening This Weekend. First up, would you like to see a movie for free? Yep. Hey, 90s fans, listen up. You can see the original Ninja Turtle movie tonight, 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. at the San Antonio Museum of Art. It'll be playing on their West Courtyard. So bring your lawn chairs and blankets. It is free, but space is limited and it's first come, first serve. Do you love sweet, juicy peaches? Yes. Tomorrow, Saturday, July 30th, it's the Twisted Peach Fest. Seven food trucks will be whipping up seven infused peach dishes. It's happening in the Block SA Food Truck Park. For just 20 bucks, you can try all seven dishes and help decide the winner. There's going to be live music, vendors, and a full bar. It's open to all ages, pet friendly, and if you just want to check out the fun, it is free going on from 5 to 10 p.m. The block is located at 14530 Roadrunner Way. 
Looking to enjoy some music? Well, the San Antonio Reggae Festival, hosted by Alex Marley, is also happening tomorrow, the 30th at Rosedale Park. Starts at 2 p.m., and there's going to be more than 10 live reggae bands and performers. $25 for adults, but free for children 12 and under. And there's also going to be more than 50 food and cultural vendors, plus food trucks, frozen treats, Jamaican foods, a children's playground, face painters, hula hoops, and so much more. There's also covered pavilions throughout the park providing shade and free parking. Hey, need to get a jump on the back school shopping? Join the Office of Councilwoman Via Gran and Representative Liz Campos for their back to school event tomorrow, the 30th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Child Advocated San Antonio, located at 1956 South WW White Road. Join them for free backpack giveaways, back to school immunizations, information sessions, back to school haircuts, giveaway prizes, vendors, and a whole lot more. You can drive through just to pick up your backpacks and supplies or stay and enjoy the big event, which includes Casa's own playground. Off top taking off and K1 Speed have teamed up again for their second annual back to school book bag rally and car show and shine. They're going to be passing out book bands, bags full of school supplies and utensils to help kids returning to class and help parents who might need a little extra assistance. There's also going to be a car show and shine for all ages. Moon bounce exotic animals and also come uh, clean your car and bikes and come to the show, come to show them off. It's happening Sunday the 31st, 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., 6955 Northwest Loop 410. Completely free. Have a great weekend, San Antonio. All right, speaking of back to school, Monday on SA Live, it kicks off our back to school week. We get things started with even more places giving away back to school supplies, how to nab big discounts on computers, electronics. It's a money saving Monday. Plus, meal prep can save tons of time during busy weeks. We share tips and tricks and recipes to help you feed your family and so much more. It all starts at 1 p.m. this coming Monday, so don't miss it. All right, right now, are you looking to replace your AC? Well, the KSAT local expert, John Wayne Service Company can help you get the most out of your cool air without the noise. Take a look. Hey, this is Randy Carroll here at my home in Garden Ridge, and this is our brand new John Wayne Flex AC system. You may be wondering what that is. I'll talk about that here in just a little bit, but we had an old system in this home that we purchased, and it just wasn't cooling properly. In fact, our son River's room stayed hotter than the rest of the house. So the John Wayne team came in, redid that duct work going to his room, made it bigger. They put a return air in his room, a bigger vent, so he's got proper cooling in the house now. Now let's go back, oh, one other thing that they did is they used an aero seal system, which is really cool. They seal off all the ducts and then they shoot this mist that has like a glue, I don't, I'm probably describing it wrong. Basically it seals up your air ducts so you don't have any leakage anywhere in those air ducts and that's another thing that they did but back to this flex AC system this system is cool because it has a variable speed compressor so it keeps your temperature and your humidity constant in the house it knocks out that humidity basically and keeps it constant uh, because the compressor drops down in speed so it's barely running uh, and then when it needs to kick back in, it goes back up. So you're saving energy. It's one of the coolest systems out there, one of the greatest innovations in air conditioning in a long time. And it's yours at John Wayne Service Company, your local home experts. You can contact them. They'll tell you more about it. But uh, I just want to thank John Wayne, uh, Don Rackler, the owner over there, uh, his entire team, very professional. You always get quality with John Wayne, quality from the people that they hire, quality, the equipment they install, and quality from the job that they did. Uh, check out the John Wayne Flex AC system today. You can go to their website, johnwayne.com, and learn more. And before we go, we got to wish a very special happy birthday to uh, one of our show producers, Robert Morin. Took the day off today. Well deserved. Happy birthday, buddy. Huge part of our show and makes it a lot of fun and makes it great. 